Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah the most affectionate the most merciful Assalamu alaikum dear viewers and students hope you will be fine by the grace of Allah almighty dear viewers and students today we are going to discuss about our CSS Islamic studies syllabus and we will discuss in this short video course contents detail and how to attempt paper and the recommended and I and the at the end I will recommend uh, some books for your preparation. So let's start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, there are seven extensive topics that we will have to prepare for our CSS Islamic Studies paper. Uh, you know that uh, hundred marks are total uh, for this paper. Uh, 30, 30 minutes will be given for your objective type paper uh, there I have mentioned 30 minutes will be given for your 20 objectives and 80 minutes will be given for your subjective type paper and there will be some long questions that we will discuss later on this uh, on this topic first of all we are going to discuss our course contents detail first of all the first one is introduction to Islam uh, these seven topics are very extensive. I have a detail of all these topics. So uh, I will discuss a little bit with you uh, in this introductory lecture. Uh, introduction to Islam, we will discuss in this uh, uh, main heading. Concept of Islam, importance of deen in human life, difference between deen and religion, distinctive aspects of Islam, Islamic beliefs and its impacts on individual and society and the fundamental of Islam. So our main heading introduction to Islam, uh, it approximately five to seven lectures uh, would be in uh, uh, under this first heading. So the second, uh, the accent, the second topic is the Holy Prophet's Sira as role model for uh, for uh, and the for for individuals for diplomat for diplomat for educators military strategic strategics and peace maker the third one is human rights and human rights we will discuss in under this uh, main heading human rights and status of women in islam dignity of men and women the fourth topic is Islamic civilization and culture. This is also an extensive uh, topic and it will also uh, require approximately five to six lectures uh, on it and we I have a lot of detail about it. The fifth topic is Islam and world. <clears throat> Islam and the world. Uh, we will discuss under uh, this topic impact of Islamic civilization on the West and vice versa, uh, the role of Islam in the uh, modern world, Muslim world and the contemporary challenges and rise of extremism. I will discuss with you uh, related books that would be helpful for you uh, to attempt all the all answers of all these questions. The sixth one is uh, dear students and viewers, viewers, uh, public administration and governance in Islam. And the last one is Islamic code of life. So. Uh, we have these seven extensive topics and uh, you will see in uh, upcoming days that uh, uh, I will inshallah deliver uh, uh, all the, the, the topics, lectures on all the topics inshallah and you will stay tuned with me. So how to attempt this paper? As uh, in the beginning I discussed with you that uh, our objective type paper marks will be 20 and the time will be given for this 30 minutes and the other hand the subjective type paper so the time will be given for this 2 hours and 30 minutes it's mean we uh, have 150 minutes for our questions long questions to attempt our long questions so 7 long questions will be given to you uh, you will have to attempt 4 questions and 20 marks of each question 20 marks of each question it means that you must have to attempt 4 questions uh, the, uh, every question has 20 marks and 80 total marks will, will be of your subjective type paper so first of all I will suggest to you that gives 35 to 40 minutes of each question 
The fifth one is write eight to ten pages. Eight to ten pages uh, of every answer. Number six, never leave lines, especially after subheading. I will discuss with you, inshallah, your paper presentation in next video. The seventh one is write uh, Islam says. What is the mean of uh, this compound? Islam says you are writing. Uh, the translation of any verse uh, that is related from that is that you have conceived or perceived from the Holy Quran and you want or and uh, or you want to quote any uh, uh, these sayings of the Holy Prophet but you have not clear in your mind that is it the sayings of the Holy Prophet or it is the verses verse of the Holy Quran. So what will you write there? You will write there. Islam says about it. So uh, you can save yourself uh, from mistake. So you can mention Islam says. Uh, we will discuss in uh, other videos inshallah. Write quotations with right references. If you have uh, not clear mind you have not clear not clear that uh, the reference which are you writing uh, uh, under the quotation if you have not clear uh, so you should not mention that reference the ninth one is never write wrong verses many students try uh, try to uh, try to write uh, verses in, uh, in their answer there is no problem you can put verses in Arabic but not write wrong don't don't write don't put wrong so if you put wrong verses so that would be uh, very dangerous and that would be uh, not uh, that will give against uh, uh, again uh, your marks so number 10 do not draw lines both sides if you're writing from uh, if you are writing in Urdu, so uh, write from right side, so do not uh, draw a line at the left side and if you are writing in English, so do not draw lines of the left side. So uh, uh, keep in mind this. Use 80% part of your page when you uh, write quotation. When you put quotation, so use 80% of your page of uh, uh, that is included uh, uh, under that that is included under the margin line so prominent quotation with marker so i think all these 12 points uh, approximately 9 to 10 points will be very helpful for you when you uh, will write your answer so the last part of our uh, video is that recommended books so students i will recommend you a few books that uh, uh, I will put, I, I will also present here. First of all, I wrote a few names of uh, these books here. Uh, you can also take a screenshot of this uh, uh, board. So first of all, the religion, the religion of Islam, the religion of Islam, Javed and Gamadi, and it would be helpful for you for your for, uh, introduction to Islam. These books, and the second one is what is Islam, Doctor Muhammad. Sharif Chaudhary, Dr. Muhammad Sharif Chaudhary, what is Islam? The third one is Islam and Orientalism, Mar Maryam Jamila, Islam and Orientalism, Maryam Jamila. The other books, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a military leader, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a military, military leader. The other one, Humanity Beyond Creed, Humanity beyond creed and the author is Dr. Zahid Munir Amir. The other one, Human Rights in Islam. Human Rights in Islam and the author is Dr. Muhammad Sharif Chaudhary. Inner Aspects, Aspects of Faith. Inner Aspects of Faith. The author is uh, Shahidullah Faridi. The other few books uh, I want to discuss with you and I want I, I desire to recommend to you for your study and for your answer. So that is Islamic history, Dr. Sultan Khan. Islamic history, Dr. Sultan Khan. The other one, the decline of Muslim Ummah. The decline of Muslim Ummah and uh, the author of uh, this book is Iqbal S. Hussain. Iqbal S. Hussain and uh, the decline of Muslim Ummah. The other one is Fatwa on Terrorism. Fatwa on Terrorism by Dr. Muhammad Tahirul Qadri. 
Islam and evolution of science. Islam and evolution of science and the author is Muhammad uh, Sajid Muhammad Saud, Islamic Research Institute, uh, Islamabad. Uh, a few books, uh, more few books I want to recommend for you for your study. Uh, you can seek help from all from all these books and let uh, me uh, clear that uh, dear viewers and dear uh, students CSS is the name of three things CSS is the name of three things first of all reading the second one is writing and the third one is evaluation so you will not uh, uh, try to memorize the things uh, because you uh, uh, will have to write your answer in your own words so at this level you need more and more uh, study the books the other book is the ideal caliphs of islam the ideal caliphs of islam and the author of this book the prominent personality of the subcontinent and and he is shah muinuddin nadvi the other book, Islamization and Minorities in, in Pakistan. Islamization and Minorities in Pakistan, Musa Khan Jalal Zai, the author of this book. Islam in Various Perspective. Islam in Various Perspective, Dr. Muhammad Tahirul Qadri. And last uh, few books that I want to recommend uh, to you for your study, uh, Comparative Study of Religion. Comparative Study of religion and the author of this book is Muhammad Farooq Kamal the other book a comparative study of world religions the comparative study of world religion and the author of this book Dr. Muhammad Sharif Chaudhary and the last book that I want to uh, discuss that this is not uh, mandatory for you but it would be helpful for you uh, a Christian Muslim dialogue in Pakistan and the author is non-Muslim he is also uh, Christian and his name uh, James Channon. So uh, I think these books would be helpful for you and you, uh, sh you should continue your study and uh, uh, if you continue your study it means that you are seeking something, you are learning something because dear viewers and dear students CSS uh, is a highly, highly qualified degree uh, and it uh, demands a very serious study, serious intention of your uh, thinking, your mind. So, inshallah, uh, we will uh, discuss uh, in the uh, other videos, inshallah. So, uh, if you are new on this channel, so subscribe this channel and also uh, press the bell icon. It will be helpful for you, inshallah. Uh, the last thing is this, the students who uh, desire to who desire to uh, uh, who desire to know about the urdu uh, books so uh, i uh, have mentioned my phone number so they can also seek help from uh, uh, my contact number uh, inshallah uh, we will meet in our next video assalamu alaikum